my name is Jay Fox and this is the Made You Looks channel. Welcome back. Uh, today I have a little baby haul for you. These are all of the things that I picked up for myself. Treat yourself season of uh, this Christmas season. It's a small haul. Like it's giving five items, I think. But to be honest with you, I think I prefer the smaller hauls compared to the massive hauls. Um, watching and also creating these videos because I don't know I just feel like there's just more thought put into when you're not buying a bunch of shit when you're buying a bunch of shit you just chop rack up you know what I mean and you're just kind of like adding stuff to the cart because you think it's cute which is listen I'm not judging um, I'm just saying that you know when it comes to making these smaller hauls I feel like I can just give y'all more of the meat and potatoes you know what I'm saying uh, of the conversation especially with these items that I'm about to show you I'm very excited these are all very different pieces um, but I'm gonna show you the most disappointing one first to explain why I bought this first I wanted I live in Portland during the winter it rains a lot it's just what happens here um, but I never have an umbrella on, on hand and there are just times when either I just don't feel like being wet you know what I mean like most of the time I don't mind walking in the rain if I'm just running out running or if I'm like running errands I'm going in and out of my car to the store like it's not really that big of a deal um, especially not one for me to like carry an um umbrella around but my idea was to have like a waterproof bucket hat that would just sit in my car that way if I if it ever started raining and I was out and I didn't want my head to get wet or at least like my head and like neck and part of my shoulders boom throw the bucket on so that's what my thought process was I even was looking for one that had this kind of like shiny texture to it because I think that it's just a nice texture to add you know i could do a plain black bucket hat but i think the kind of shiny texture of this even like with the hoodie that i'm wearing right now i thought it was a little groovy vibe but the thing that made this disappointing was that i don't want to mess up my hair um bucket. <sighs> big enough it's not it doesn't fit my hair it doesn't even fit my head even if my hair was twisted I still don't think it would fit the circumference of my head and I bought the biggest size this is a size 58 I don't know if in Europe y'all heads just smaller um I don't know I don't know what's going on but this should have fit better than it did but it didn't and it was final sale which is unfortunate um I got a pretty good deal on it I think this is was originally like $300 or like near $300 and I got it for 70 um, and I have and it was cool too because I had my first little Isabel Marat piece and I thought it was gonna be a moment for me and I just really liked it in general like this is exactly what I was looking for and so when I threw it on it didn't quite work so I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing with this um, maybe I gift it to somebody maybe I sell it to my y'all I don't know but we'll see so the next thing I picked up and I'm so hyped to have this boring ass sweater but for me and to me, it is everything. So I picked up this Acne Studios um, sweatshirt from Essence, and there's really not much to it. It's just a plain charcoal gray, kind of oversized fit, wide body fit Acne Studio sweater with Acne Studio Stockholm just kind of uh, scrambled on the back. The quality of this sweatshirt. Unmatched. I love it when a heavyweight fabric moves. Ooh, this hoodie is definitely heavyweight, but one thing about this hoodie, she's a little stiff, you know, and sometimes I like that. Like, I like the fact that this is somehow, some way, a structured hoodie just based off of the fact that the, the weight of the fabric is so thick, um, or so heavy, rather. But for some reason, this one just is heavy, but it, as you can see, it just got a little bit more movement. It's a little bit less stiff, and it just feels so good to the touch. I don't know what it is with this fabric that they have on the inside. I don't know if y'all can see the fabric that's on the inside there. This is so soft. It feels so premium. Like I just, that's the best word that I can think of is premium. Like when you put this on, yes, it feels like a sweatshirt. Like it's not like you put it on and it feels like, you know, uh, like silk necessarily, but like you put it on and it feels like a sweatshirt. But it feels like a sweatshirt with just extra time put into it. I don't know. I wish I had the language to fully uh, describe how well made this sweatshirt is. 
um, but I truly just don't have it for you. And I like the design on the back. I'm a big fan of typography. I will be more easily influenced to buy something that had some type of typography design over like um, an illustration or an image necessarily. And so this was right up my alley. Like I said, I got this on the Essence sale. Feels really great. It's very comfortable. It's got that nice drop shoulder. It's super wide in the body. And then it's got kind of like that vintage -y kind of uh, wash to it as well. And just fucking 10 out of 10. This next item is a bit of a weird one. Another Doc Martens piece. These were not sent to me though. I bought these. Uh, I have been looking at these for a few months now and I have been waiting for them to go on sale because something told me when I saw them, when I saw that this collab was happening, I was like, these are gonna hit the sale. And when they hit the sale, I'm gonna hit checkout. And that's exactly what happened. So this is a collaboration between Comme des Garcons and Doc Martens. And this now makes my, what, fifth pair of Doc Martens? I think, but literally at this point, I wasn't even trying to develop a relationship with the brand or anything, because I did send me like a nice little note uh, for Christmas. I just keep buying the shit. I just keep buying your shit, Doc Martens. But, but here they are in all of their glory. They kind of remind me of the Joker, you know? Like I feel like these are shoes that he would wear. And they also remind me of a deck of cards. They just give me like Vegas, Blackjack dealing vibes. Um, something about this white and black pattern on the top of it. The only reason why I bought these is because I thought the white and black pattern was so dope, especially with this kind of chunkier silhouette on top of it. The, and then it's a loafer, but it doesn't look anything like a loafer to me. You know, and I love it when those kind of traditional silhouettes that we're used to seeing are challenged or are just done a bit differently. Uh, like these read almost like a dirty, but they are loafers. So I really, really like these. When I bought these, I knew these were not gonna be a piece that I'm gonna like pull out, you know, every time I go out. Like this is not gonna be something that I reach for that often. And I bought them knowing that, but the reason why I wanted to get them is because sometimes I just think that there are products um, or pieces that you're just really drawn to and you will never get rid of. And you just know that. And this is just one of those things. Like I know that when the time comes for me to pull these out, I'm going to be so happy that I have them. But y'all know I love a collab, especially with a collab with Doc Martens. I don't know why, Doc Martens collabs are like up there as a, some of my favorite collabs, but yes. Got those. Most likely wear these with like a pair of black cropped pants, maybe even like a wide leg black crop pant. I think that, you know, drawing inspiration from the brand itself. So Doc Martens or Comme des Garçons. When I think of CDG, I think of layers. I think of layers. I think of long layers. I think of like uh, volume when it comes to pants and skirts and even like sh shirts and almost like kind of a scrappy, almost like a scrappy kind of nature to it. And then when I think of Doc Martens, I'm thinking of punk, I'm thinking of black, I'm thinking of metals, um, edgy, denim, that type of thing. And so I think that when you kind of draw from the influences of the brands itself that created the thing, it's so much easier to make an outfit with that thing. So that's what I plan to do with these. Okay, and the very last item that I'm going to show you is actually a fragrance. I have been hearing y'all asking me, um, I was saying if I was ashy, I, I have been hearing y'all asking me about, I'm just gonna put long lotion because I'm insecure now. I have been hearing y'all, I know y'all want me to do a video on fragrances, more specifically like unisex fragrances. I just feel like realistically speaking, if I was watching a video like that, I could get all the recommendations in the world, but I still wouldn't buy one, you know? And it's hard for me to make videos that I personally would not find helpful, you know? And so I feel like I would love to do a video on fragrances, but I want to do it in a way that is more helpful, especially when it comes to scents, because you can't, I can, all I can do is describe this to you. You can't smell this through the screen. And so I want to do one. I just want to do one that is, an actual resource and I'm still trying to figure that out. But until then, uh, I do recommend this one. So this brand is Elise, Elise's Wood. Elise's Wood. This is not a brand that I had ever heard of prior to me picking this up, um, but I just wanted another scent. And my normal scent or my old scent was Versace Eros. And here's the thing. This is an amazing, but I had to stop because everybody, 
started wearing this damn cologne and so I stopped wearing it and I wanted to get another one and I was in the mall getting some perfume for my mom for Christmas and I was just asking the lady just some questions and so she pointed me into the direction of this to describe this smell. It is like masculine but a bad bitch. It's very much unisex. Cause there's sweetness to it. Like when you first smell it, it's not overpowering in any direction. Like it's not overpoweringly sweet. It's not overpoweringly, uh, overpoweringly, I hope that's a word. Feminine or masculine, it just smells like a sweet man. Like there's a masculinity there. Honestly, kind of like a coffee bean note. Mm -hmm. Like a coffee beany kind of like bellowing undertone there and there are and then there are some sweet notes on top of it that's the best way i can explain it i'm so sorry it's very similar to versace eros so if you like that one you will absolutely like this one because they have the same vibe like the literally the same exact vibe i want to say it's a no fail purchase if you like versace eros and you wear versace eros and you want something else i highly highly suggest this and this is also very good for daytime or nighttime, in my opinion. It's not too much for nighttime. And normally, I don't do crazy, I don't douse myself my perfumes or my colognes. I normally just spray it in, my, in the spots where people's noses are or and or the warmest parts of my body. And so oftentimes, I'll spray one here, kind of in the middle of my arm, like in that little dip, you know? And then I'll spray one kind of like in the middle of my boobs and my stomach that right there, that really warm pocket. And then sometimes I'll spray the back of my shoulder. Cause usually when you give hugs to people, that's where they hit me. And so I don't know if this makes any sense or if this is like even good information to give y'all, but that's what I do. And the shit, I smell good the whole night. All right, y'all, that is it for me. I will see y'all very soon in another one. And do not forget, wear what you want, wear what you like, wear it out. See you soon. Thank you.